Hey there, y'all. Black Friday and Rock's records are a match made in heaven. This year, on November 22nd, they had 50% off everything in their online store. So I took advantage of that and picked up some great rock and metal vinyl and CDs. Some wonderful stuff here. Maybe some familiar ones to you or some favorites of yours or maybe some you've never heard of. I have some great stuff to show you today. Stay where you are. It's all coming up. Hey there, y'all. Welcome back to another Tim Talks Christian Rock. Tim Risto here. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hope you're having a great day today, and may God bless your day going forward from here. We're talking Black Friday sales today and my latest vinyl and CD finds. You know, I've been a big supporter of Boone's Overstock and Girder Records over the years, purchased a lot through them. Not as much through Rocks, but as I've gotten more and more into Christian Rock and metal, um, I've found Rocks has some really interesting stuff. I mean, they've got some of the mainstream stuff, but they've also got a lot of unusual, perhaps lesser-known artists, sometimes a little harder-edged music, that uh, as I've grown into uh, the music, gotten to know some of the other artists that uh, I had not listened to back in the day, in the 80s and 90s, um, I've gotten to really enjoy uh, browsing through the Rocks Records website. And that includes everything there, you know, No Life Tone. Tell metal and all the other uh, things that are under that umbrella of Rock's Records. So I've really gotten to enjoy them. And they have, I believe, kind of an annual 50% off sale around Black Friday time. When that came up this year, I thought, you know, they gave me no excuses to pick up some great stuff. So I took advantage of it. So what this really allowed me to do was pick up some stuff from some bands and artists that I either don't have much for or don't have anything for. Some that I've listened to over the years or are familiar with their, you know, uh, place in Christian rock history or what have you. But uh, it was really just a great opportunity to kind of dig through some stuff that I have not purchased or, or, or delved into very deeply. So some great stuff here. Uh, again, a nice stack of vinyl and CDs that we'll take a look at today. So let's get going. All right, first up, let's talk this vinyl release here. Valor, Fight for Your Life. Oh, this is a great band. I'd picked up, I think it was earlier this year, their uh, EP release, uh, Masquerade, uh, which preceded this, of course. And then this album came out, I think, in the late 80s sometime, sometime post-87, because I think uh, Masquerade came out in 87. Anyway, what a great group. This is kind of a shades of traditional metal mixed with some um, probably speed metal, maybe a little bit of thrash in there. Just a great group. Uh, the origins for this band uh, go back to, I think it's Golgotha, which I'm not really familiar with, haven't heard much of them, but I know having read about them a little bit that um, some of the band uh, members from that that ended up forming here into Valor. And, in fact, I think the vocalist from Golgotha went on to form Cross Force, which I've got an interesting thing about that I'll tell you in a minute. But anyway, Valor, this is just a great follow-up to Masquerade, which, again, was a set of demos, really. And uh, really, really digging this band a lot. I wish they'd done a lot more. There's the group on the back. you got Jim Maxwell on drums, Adam Alvarez on bass and vocals, Chris Price on guitars, and Michael Breck, I believe it's pronounced, on vocals. Just a really cool group. Um, this is a nice, straightforward, simple vinyl release. It's got a little insert here with lyrics on it, and the back is, you know, just clean. But so there's that. It's a black vinyl release. Uh, and again, this was 50% off on Rock's Records since I had Masquerade already. I did not want to pass up the chance to uh, add Fight for Your Life to my collection. And included with this particular one is uh, kind of this cool little photo of the band autographed. Uh, it says 1988 here, so maybe that's when the album actually came out. The vinyl release here is from 2019. I think there's a story, our story behind uh, the releases of this particular album. I think there's a bunch of different releases. Um, and I don't know all the all the history behind all that, but um, again, this is actually a very 
cool little simple addition, but I like the, uh, the addition of having an autographed band photo with it. That's kind of cool. All right, next up is a great traditional rock and metal album. Philadelphia from 1985, Search and Destroy. This was, I believe, their second album. Followed up their first one called To Tell the Truth, I think, which that was a more rough around the edges uh, production-wise album, but still kind of put them on the map with a traditional metal sound. This one's kind of a little bit more well-known, I guess I would say, Search and Destroy. Uh, this is a 2019 Rocks Records reissue on vinyl. Here the, uh, the cover art is much more prominent than in the original one, which I think was made uh, Christian record store safe with kind of a, a sheen veneer over the, uh, over the cover graphic, so it wasn't quite as visible. But uh, that's probably the more collectible one to, to want to get. But I just have never owned any Philadelphia. I remember listening to, to Tell the Truth at one point a while back, going, yeah, it sounds a little dated. Uh, but then hearing stuff off of this one more recently going yeah i need to pick up some philadelphia uh again i think uh they've been around a while maybe even prior to striper um probably in the 70s at some point um but um, they've really got a good traditional metal sound and uh again i'm not really familiar with each of the songs on here i look forward to getting to know uh this band better because again they've been around for a while i don't know that they had any albums after this one i have to look up the history of that but uh, i did pick up this gold vinyl release they had it on black vinyl and gold vinyl and i just decided to go for the gold vinyl release again 50 percent off at rocks records during their black friday sale this came with a nice little insert here in the album as well with this interesting artwork here, which I don't know if this was alternate artwork for the album cover or uh, if this was part of, uh, you know, they've got different album art here on this side too. I think it was part of some uh, maybe Kickstarter or, or, you know, GoFundMe campaign that they did to release the album. And so fans submitted artwork variants for the album cover. I guess this was probably the winning one, you know, that made it here um, based on the original artwork, of course. Um, so I don't know. I'll have to get read up on all that, and this might have been another another variant. I'm not sure. But uh, lyrics on this side with some of those artwork submissions there. And uh, anyway, it's a very cool, cool album. I've listened to a few tracks already off of the vinyl, and I look forward to putting this one on the record player here one night soon and getting to know it better. Another band that has long been on my radar, but I just have not uh, picked anything up from or for and uh, really, I'm not super familiar with their music, and I decided I need to step into that. And here again, on the sale, was an ultimate opportunity to do so, and that band is Narnia from Sweden. Their 2019, uh, at least this final release from 2019, album From Darkness to Light. You know, Narnia's got this kind of melodic power metal style, and uh, kind of, I guess what they describe, kind of neoclassical type influences, um, some progressive vibes to them, just a really neat, unique sound too. You can kind of feel some of the, the Swedish, I guess you could say, the influences that kind of steep into their music a little bit, uh, kind of the way you can sense that Jerusalem or you know, Leviticus, some of those Swedish bands have a, have a little different vibe to them. Uh, kind of that European flavor, I guess you could say, that, that comes in. And it's nice, nice style. Um, this is a nice gatefold release. There's a band photo there. Uh, Christian Lilligren, I believe it is. It's kind of the founder and primary force behind the band. But they've really, again, I've spot listened through a lot of their albums online or uh, on streaming. And I really like the sound of the band, but I'm just not super familiar with a lot of their songs. This is a um, white vinyl release. It's got a very simple sleeve insert with the lyrics on it. And then the white vinyl edition itself. I think this might also come in a red vinyl, but I really like the white vinyl that ties in nicely with the... Uh, you know, the lightning and the lighthouse light on the, on the cover art. So another band that I really look forward to getting to know better. 
All right, the next couple of albums are from a band that I actually found out about through, i got to give a shout-out to Kevin Carruthers over at Heaven's Metal Streaming Radio and Heaven's Metal Magazine, who he and I were on a podcast together over at Area 312 Rock and Metal Vodcast recently, and uh, he brought up this particular band in one of their albums. I actually hadn't heard of them, wasn't familiar with them. Um, They're from the early 2000s, I believe, is when they got their start, and... uh, kind of piqued my curiosity now this is a band and these album covers and and maybe the band name and everything may be a little controversial for some of you if you're not interested in this type of music or if it kind of seems to be a negative appeal i can understand that but the more i learned about them the more kevin talked about them i realized this is kind of interesting band that's probably been misunderstood to a degree don't know i look forward to digging into them more and, and getting to know their music better the band is Grave Robber, and this album here is a black vinyl release of Exhumed from 2011. This is kind of an EP, basically, with six tracks on side A, and one, two, three, four, five tracks on side B. Side B is listed as original 2005 remastered demo, so I think they got their start in the early 2000s, I believe. Um, Don't know if this one came first or if the next one I'm going to show you came first, but uh, I'm not familiar with their discography that much yet. But they're kind of a uh, punk rock band with a lot of metal overtones, um, some pretty heavy rock, and uh, kind of a horror rock, I guess you would call it, or shock rock. Similar uh, and more uh, of the vein of like a Kiss or a, um, you know, Alice Cooper, things of that nature. So it's kind of a Christian version of that. They um, were controversial in kind of the way they approached their music and the way they dressed up you know again like a kiss variant they kind of dressed up as i think kind of like zombies um don't know if i have a good band photo on this release probably in the next one uh here's the insert with liner notes they don't have lyrics in here with this this is again just a simple black black vinyl release but so they they kind of dress up they have names alternate names you know alter egos basically you could say uh, Wretched, Lamenter, Carcass, Plague. Those are their the band uh, individual, the band members' names. You know that they use uh, stage names. So again, it's kind of got that that uh, Kiss vibe, Alice Cooper kind of uh, theatrical elements to uh, their stage presence. I'm just curious about how this band uh, approached that uh, the theatrics of it the music of it um and the spiritual message behind it all so again something i'm not real familiar with but kind of looking forward to digging into and getting to know better the other album by this band that i picked up was this one here inner sanctum and this is the one that kevin actually talked about in the area 312 podcast episode which i'll put a link to that in the description down below please support the area 312 rock and metal vodcast those guys over there are great we did along with some other guys did uh the gift wrap episode all about favorite cover art uh the christmas episode for this year 2024 so check it out if you get a chance great one put a link in the description down below but anyway this is the album that he specifically brought up as one of his uh cover art selections and uh, again it's it's interesting stuff um, this one, I think, is a full-length album, side A and B. I've just spot-listened to, as I mentioned before, some of the tracks on here. Here's the insert that shows kind of how they dressed in the stage shows, which, again, uh, probably for anybody, freak people out a little bit. Uh, Christians especially may be really hesitant about uh, a band with this kind of look to it. And here, Grave Robbers' names are listed as Wretched on vocals and Shovel. Lamentor on guitar and vocals, Carcass on bass and vocals, Plague, who's on Doom Tubs and vocals, Doom Tubs, I assume it's drums. Um, so, you know, this, some of it's kind of tongue in cheek. Uh, and again, the idea, I think, from what I remember Kevin kind of talking about, you know, the, the zombies, it's kind of like we're the living dead until we uh, find Christ, right? Until we are made new, given new life. And so there's kind of those kind of spiritual analogies going on. I don't know all of the details of that yet. I look forward to kind of digging in a little bit more to their music and their lyrics um, to kind of uh, uncover uh, the meaning behind the way they dress and and the spiritual message uh, spiritual message in it. Um, and this again is just a black black vinyl edition here. So again, both of these were 
what I got 50% off at Rocks Records. They're both available through there. As far as I know, they still have some left. But um, again, just kind of an interesting band. May not be everybody's taste, certainly. Um, and I can understand. I'm looking forward to digging in more to their music and their message. All right, that covers all the vinyls. Now let's go ahead and dig into some of the CDs that I got from this sale. First thing I got to mention, though, again, Rocks Records is phenomenal. And for them to offer a 50% off sale, even once a year like this, is an incredible gift to the consumers, to us fans. And also to the artists, too, in the sense that it gives those of us who might not otherwise pick up certain artists because we aren't familiar with them or, you know, they've only had a few releases or what have you, um, gives you the opportunity to be willing to try some stuff out, pick some stuff up. Um just to add to your collection, too. So wonderful, wonderful, wonderful on Rox's part to do this. Secondly, um, not only did they send me everything that I ordered, of course, and in pristine condition, you know, sealed, no, no cracked jewel cases, um, everything in great condition. If, if I bought something that was, of course, list is opened, and then I got that. But uh, everything as described, I received it, and in great condition, packed really well. Um, but in addition to that, they also sent free CDs along with it, too. Talk about going above and beyond with your customer service and offering something extra to your fans. One of those was this, Cross Force, Rock Until the Final Day. Um, I mentioned earlier about Valor and that there'd be a connection uh, to Cross Force. I'm only vaguely aware of this. Again, I'm not real familiar with Cross Force, but I believe, remember the Golgotha connection I mentioned with Valor. I believe the vocalist, I think it was, from Golgotha went on to, I don't know if he formed or at least was a part of Cross Force. Well, since I ordered the Valor album, they sent me Cross Force uh, CD for free. Um, talk about a wonderful, wonderful gift. Thank you so much, Rocks Records, No Life Till Metal, Bill and Scott. Thank you so much for being willing to include something and, and you know, the knowledge behind to know that the connection between these, well, if he likes Valor, he might be interested in CrossForce. Love that and really appreciate that kind of attention to detail in their customer service too. Great stuff. So I look forward to this one. I haven't even opened it yet. Um, I'm excited about that one. That's something I wasn't expecting. Um, so I'll probably give a review of that down the road. Also sent this one for you, Michael Phillips, Mirror Within Mirrors. Don't really know anything about him. I'm not sure what his connection is to maybe some of the other stuff I ordered, but I look forward to finding out. If some of you are familiar with more of that, just let me know in the comments down below. This is from 2009, Mirror Within Mirrors, Michael Phillips, but I look forward to getting to know that too. The album cover kind of reminds me of... Uh, style of art from uh, Human Clay. Who was that band? Uh, Creed. Creed. Yeah. Uh, Scott Stapp. Creed. Uh, kind of reminds me of that from that era. But again, look forward to getting to know that. They also sent this tribute to uh, Dale Huffman, Metal Pulse Radio, who again, somebody I'm only very vaguely familiar with. Um, I know it's a nice tribute uh, piece that they put together. Um, I believe he passed away from cancer and I think was involved with... Um, this Metal Pulse Radio, which again, I'm just not really familiar with, but uh, I look forward to opening this up. I assume there's some some description in there and a little insight into, into him and who he was and uh, his involvement in uh, Christian music. So again, something else I just look forward to, to getting to know and nice that they were willing to pay respect to, to this gentleman and his, his role in, in music. So again, something else really nice. They didn't have to do this. They didn't have to send three CDs for free but they did, and I really appreciate that. So again, kudos to Rocks, very much appreciated. All right, now on to the CDs that I actually purchased as part of my order. First up is another one that actually came uh, as a referral from Kevin over at Heaven's Metal um, in that same episode of Area 312 that I mentioned earlier, and that's Fear Not, uh, Fields of Sorrow. Uh, he showed off the vinyl edition in that episode. Uh, they had the CDs on sale at Rocks, and I thought, you know, he talked about this one being so good, so I'm going to go ahead and pick it up because again I have not really listened uh, to Fear Not very much at all. Kind of uh, aware of their first album but then I think they made some you know band lineup changes over the years as many bands do and I think this one I don't know I don't know if it features a completely different lineup or, or just a different 
music style or what, but something is a little different from this, I think, than, than the earlier album or albums. So again, I look forward to kind of getting caught up on all that. I haven't even opened this one yet, but excited to check this one out as well. Okay, I mentioned Crossverse earlier in that CD that Rox has sent me, but as part of my order, I ordered this one here, Light Force, Battle Zone. Uh, again, like many of these bands in this order today, these are some that I'm just not super familiar with, vaguely familiar with some of them. Um, and so this is one that just I've heard the band, the name Light Force, uh, whispered about before, and uh, just one that I haven't had much opportunity to listen to. So I thought, again, here's a sale. I'm going to pick this up and check this one out. Love that cover. Sorry for all the reflections, but love that cover art. Just really looks cool. And this features eight tracks from the Battle Zone album. Then there's also bonus tracks from the Yellow demo from 1986 and from the Blue demo of 1986 as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, tracks off of that one and then track 20 is an interview too so um, I think this might be like the original back in the day cover art there really cool um, and then there's this really nice revised cover art which again is featured on the CD art there as well just another band again that I'm not super familiar with their music I look forward to getting to know, know them and uh, it's kind of fun to have stuff that you don't know haven't heard and uh, but know that it's got a good reputation look forward to to listening to it um so i'll probably do a review of that down the road too all right next up uh, last two cds i have are actually part of an anthology anthology so you've got exodus volume one and volume two um exodus is a band that i am not familiar with at all but thought these editions looked kind of cool. It says here in the little liner notes on the booklet, it was 1976 and four teenagers from a little town in South Jersey got together to form a quote-unquote Christian rock band called Exodus, inspired by early Christian recording artists like Larry Norman and Phil Kage, yet musically influenced by bands like Led Zeppelin, Kiss, and Black Sabbath. They began to invent their own version of Christian rock. Over the course of the next four years, they wrote 30 or so songs and toured throughout New Jersey, but broke up in 1980 while still writing a few tunes together until 1982 when they went their separate ways. It goes on to say here, years later, the four friends reunited to discover these old songs and the old chemistry. Over the course of the next several years, they set out to re-record those 30 or so songs from 2002 to 2010. They spent a day or two each week on the recordings in between life's other obligations. Volume 1 represents the earliest songs they wrote together from 76 to 78, while Volume 2 representing songs written from 78 to 82. We tried as best as we could to capture the genuine intent of the songs as we wrote them with a little added musical maturity and more modern recording techniques and production equipment. So, kind of a neat neat group so again here's volume one that covers that 70s period and then uh, volume two that covers the uh, their 80s period early 80s period so again not one that i'm just real familiar with that just sounded interesting and intriguing i thought i'd, I'd pick these up this is kind of one of the many bands that are part of christian music history where you know they're kind of what would you call these one-offs or maybe it was a band that recorded one album or a couple albums or did a demo on a couple albums, uh, but never signed to a record label or, you know, or signed to a record label, but again, had one, one, one or two albums and that was it. Um, kind of a, a limited discography, never really uh, broke in the way they wanted to. You know, I think of like other bands like Chariot, um, Neon Cross, although they were kind of well-known in the California area especially, have become more well-known since um, by reputation. But bands like that, I'd like to do a video one time talking just about like Exodus, Chariot, Neon Cross, those type bands and their albums, um, because I think there's a lot of neat stuff that goes undiscovered. So maybe we'll do a video on that. I've got like Paradox on order, I think from, from Rocks or Girder. Um, you know, they had a couple albums, I know. So I'm kind of getting to know some of those less familiar bands and their albums. And, uh, and maybe we'll do a video or a couple of videos about some of those because I think there's some interesting, interesting stuff out there. Anyway, y'all, that's all I got for today. That is my Black Friday haul 
from Rox Records. Again, so appreciate them offering such a great sale and having such great bands and music and, uh, you know, editions of vinyl and CDs that they put out and produce uh, some quality, quality stuff. So I've got a girder Black Friday order that arrived just today. As a matter of fact, I'll be doing a video on that probably next week. So stay around for that. What did you find on Black Friday? Did you pick up stuff from Rocks Records? If so, what'd you get? Would love to hear your purchases. Put them in the comments down below. Otherwise, y'all, that's all I got for today. Go out and listen to some great Christian rock today or metal. Enjoy some of the wonderful stuff that these artists have produced, both musically and in their spiritual lyrics as well. Have a great day, y'all. Above all else, remember, though, stay in God's Word. Blessings, y'all. Take care. Have a great one.